And the next match coming up, the final match here in the, the Indonesian Masters 2019 is a mixed doubles where the world champions and Asian game champions from China, Sheng Wei and Huang Yachong, the number one seat, are up against the Olympic champions from Indonesia, Tonto Ahmed and Liliana Natsir. Number one seat against the number four. And uh, the mixed doubles, HSBC race to Kongcho. There's none of these two pairs are ranked. Uh, so this is the first uh, tournament of the year for those two. As you can see, uh, number one is from Thailand at the moment. The mixed doubles draw. It's been uh, a bit of a surprise yesterday when Seng Si Wei and Huang Yachong had to play three games against Watanabe and Higashino. The pair from Japan is a very strong mixed doubles pair, but still, it's not often we see the Chinese losing a game. They came through 14 and 11 in the last two, and uh, it did so well. Their opponents from Indonesia, Ahmad and Nazia, came through in flying colors against Chang Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying of Malaysia and uh, the first ones onto court is uh, Sheng Si Wei and Huang Yachong Asian Games champion world champions and both of it happened here in 2018 in 2018 they also winning seven open titles and two championships out of 12 finals in a total. So nine wins out of 12 finals. And their opponents here, they're very, very popular. Tontowi Ahmed and Liliana Natsir. The partnership who has won the world championship twice in 2013 and 2017. On top of that, won Olympic gold in 2016. And just to top it off a bit, three times the All England. The head-to-head -head between these two pairs is in favour of the Chinese. They're 3-1 up. So and uh, all red, four black. matches have been played red. in 2018. Red. This side. Server receiving. Shirt. Receiving. Receiving, you are. Yes, yeah. Thank you. And we've got uh, Sheng Si Wei in uh, the picture. And uh, the players, due to what happened in the women's singles, are allowed a little bit extra time to warm up. Normally it's just uh, two minutes of warm up, but today here in this mixed doubles, they have got three minutes. The profile of Sheng Si Wei, just uh, 21 years of age. And uh, as you can see, number one in the world, and that's based on 14 tournaments. They have stayed at number one in the world for the past 25 weeks. And the first time was on the 9th of August in 2018. His partner is Huang Ya Chung. She's age 24, and of course the same ranking applies to her. It's a very, very aggressive mixed doubles pair. They very much prefer to attack rather than defend. And uh, should you be able to push this pair the full distance and even beat them, you have to be at top of your game and you have to be very, very aggressive. Their way to this final 
as you can see, twice they have played three games in the first round. Again, Ao and Liu of China. They won 21-10 in the third. And uh, yesterday, 21-11 in 41 minutes against Watanabe and Hikoshino of Japan. Their opponents uh, from Indonesia had an outstanding career from Toei Ahmed, age 31. At the moment, they are number four on the world ranking based on 11 tournaments. They have been at number one in the world, and last time that was on the 2nd of August uh, last year. They've been number one for 11 weeks partner here is going to be a very, very emotional day. Liliana Natsia is playing her last match on the international circuit right now. 33 years of age, have been suffering from a knee injury for quite a while, but have maintained playing. So, as you can see, the same ranking applies to her, of course, as well, but how wonderful a women's mixed doubles player she has been. Their way to this final, as you can see, won all the matches in two straight games. Liliana Natsia, we can continue a little bit on her because not only in this partnership, she has also had a previous partnership where she won the World Championship twice in 2005 and 2007 with her former partner to play. Nova Vidianto who is incidentally coaching her now sitting at the back on the chair and uh, just an hour before the final start at one o'clock here in Jakarta there was a very very emotional farewell from all the fans here in uh, Jakarta in Istora Sinayan for Liliana Natsia. It was very emotional. She was holding her speech and couldn't hold back the tears. It's very understandable what a match this can be. No matter the result, I think Natsia is so happy to be here playing the last match of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sheng Shivei, the umpire Yagong, is Christian Hedelund of Denmark, and the service on my left, is Stefan Ahmed of Liliane France. Liliane Natsia, Indonesia. Liliane Natsia to serve Sheng Shivei, novel play. Service over. One, love. Set it over. One, and oh. while the support from the crowd. Am I getting on attack? Yes, this is. It. Two, what a way to end one. your career right here in your home country with so much success behind her. It's incredible, but the team in blue, Jong and Kwong, they're really solid last year. They're really tough to beat. They're great on attack, and uh, Kwong really Three, looks for the net. One. But the Indonesians, they have so much experience and talent in their racket. They have it. They have enough to, to beat them today. Away, yeah, this one. Uh, we have a challenge from uh, the two players from China, Cheng and Huang. It's called out. And we will have Hawkeye to make a decision. And it's definitely out, which means that unsuccessful. Indonesia remaining. is 4-1 up. 4-1 play. Four. Service over. 
three, four. Last year, the combination here from Indonesia. They uh, did not uh, qualify for the World Tour Finals. They ended up as uh, number 12 on the list. But they won the Indonesian Open, the Super 1000 tournament here in uh, July last year. 7,000 screaming crowds. Five. Three. This place rocks when they're on the court. at the front of the court as well. Four. Really tricky hands, places it nicely. Service over. Five, six. You see her ex-partner, Nova, coaching her now. It's very interesting to see Five. whether the pressure will really get to Seng Wei and Huang Yachong because they, as you said, have been so dominant in 2018. Nine. Five. They're so hard to beat, but the only team on tour right now that usually has a chance are, I would say, the ones on the far side today. And the reason being... Oh. Listen to that crowd. Well, they have the experience, they have the talent. But to play here, Ten, they all, four. all the Indonesian players play up. It's incredible. I think one of the reasons why this pair from Indonesia can shake Eleven, five, the world five. champions from China is because Liliana Natsia is so dominant at the net. Oh, she is. She's so tricky, it's, it's incredible. So that's a very healthy lead here for Tontoi Ahmed and Liliana Nazi of Indonesia. 11-5 in five minutes. We will leave it for the coaches. Play by Seaway pushing it uh, Seven, totally out of reach here 11. for Ahmed. If it's high midcourt, he, he has a lot of power, he can do what it, he wants. But to, as you mentioned before, if you can get him below the tape on the midcourt, that's when he has challenges. That one there, but look at that shot. Look at that shot from Nats here. But Seaway was forced to play below the tape in that occasion. 12. 
And straight Seven. away, Natsir leaping in and intercepting. Turns over. Yeah, I talked to Natsir Eight. after Singapore as well. Troll. And her knee just, it, it's troubling her. She really hasn't taken care of the injury and she's been struggling because of that even in training. And that's where Natsu is in trouble. And gets another one back. When she's really pushed the distance to move fast, it's very difficult. Tries for one, two. Better not hit to me. That's good defensive skills, <laughs> isn't it? Nine. Good reaction, but yes, exactly, Morton. You need to make her move just because of that knee as well. You can make her move a little bit. She's not as strong. Ten, fifteen. Well, Liliana moved to Jakarta when she was 12 years of age, and at first she was a bit homesick, but her mom encouraged her to to reach your goals in badminton and 21 years later. She's the best in the mixed doubles. Oh, good shot there by Seaway, lucky. Just caught the top of the tape. 11, Tumbling over, trying 15. to have a look at this one. Yeah, what can Tonto we do about it? Nothing. 11 15. Oh, my Thank goodness! You. Could have been a winner. So Liliana Nats here gets her racquetball on it. Watch this. Good defense. You don't get the depth with Jung's away. He's 12, really strong on the smash. 16. Well, when you consider what a year 2018 has been for Sing Siwei and Hong Chong, they uh, won nine tournaments, seven open ones. Indonesia Masters, they are defending champions here. Malaysia Open, Japan Open, China Open, Denmark Open, French Open, Fuzhou China Open, absolutely amazing. On top of that, they won the Asian Games 18, and the World Championships. 12. Yeah, what a fantastic year they've had. Team 12 19, taking the last three points. 12. It's uh, looking good for Indonesia. That's way out. It's looking good for Indonesia in this opening game. 13, 19. But then over uh, Vidianto looks fairly cool and calm when he's sitting there behind the court. He was also a very calm player in his days. Uh, 
well covered there by Huang Yachong. She knew exactly where to be on that 19. one. Drifted over. Defensive skills here by the Chinese combination and lastly by Wang Yachong. Look at that, how she's passing uh, Natsir on that shot. Way to the back line, well played. Now they got the last three points. The gap, four points, 15-19. Don't squeeze the shuttle, okay? Don't squeeze the shuttle, just change it, don't do this, okay? okay. 15, 19. That was quite interesting when the umpire set to and who we admit that do not squeeze the shuffle. And it looks like uh, the Chinese combination is 16, finding their feet again 19. after being 19, 12 down. I'm still surprised that they're not flicking more to Natsia. You know, she's standing quite close to that service line. Yeah, Just she's really rushing it too. She is. You know, if you flick that serve, chances are she has to play a, a clear defensive shot somehow. Seventeen. Nineteen. Five points in a row here for Huang Yachong and Cheng Si Wei. Amazing flat exchanges. Oh. And 19 all it is. Seven points in a row here for Huang Yachong and Sen Shui Wei. 19 all. And 27 shots in the, the previous rally. It's all about having steady nerves, isn't it? It is, and listen to that crowd right now. Oh, my. A quick return of serve by Seaway.
Puts it to the ground. Indonesia takes this opening game. They were very much in command at 19-12 up, but suddenly they lost seven points in a row, 19 all, but managed to take this opening game 21-19 in 17 minutes. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. So we are soon ready to commence the second game. Second game. Will we have ball. yet another Play. fairly big surprise? Men singles, Anna's Antonsen of Denmark beating Kento Momota the world champion in the men's singles. And here can the reigning Olympic champions from 2016 beat the reigning world champions from 2018. behind like it's almost Look. in slow motion for her she always knows exactly where the shuttle is yeah but they played together since forever these two players the partnership started back in 2010 two lot but uh, i think there's a lot of credit to tonto we Ahmed as well i think he has played a very very good match so far Yes, he's very solid, but he, he always over. gives Liliana a lot of credit, saying, I listened to her. She's taught Two. me a lot of uh, badminton knowledge, of course, but uh, they make a superb team. Up the court here by Tontoli Ahmed. Four, one. Look at that, very steep, very precise. So it's over. Yeah, that's where I've over the years detected a weakness in a Tontoli Ahmed's game. Two, that's when he has to cover. Four. The forehand side have to move fast and cover that forehand side. That's definitely not one of his strongest suits. A uh, wonderful play by Huang Yatong there. And that's what they're truly trying to do, like you just mentioned, go to that forehand side. Found the open spot. Three, four. That's 
stayed in on the line. Four. And it's oh. four all. It's an electric atmosphere here in Istora Sinayan. Again, a fairly fine example of uh, Sensi Wei Five. who's got to play a Four. shot from below. The tape, look at that, is not the best of blocks. Well, just a swing and a miss there. So over. Tried to go for the flick. Five. Wong able to bring oh. it back. Clever attack here by Toto Wiatnet. First on the backhand side Six. there, then on the forehand side. Five. But he did it three or four times where he was switching side to side, and that's really, really clever badminton. Service over. Six. Oh. And if you do that to Ahmad, you're going to get punished for sure. Well, this sold out stadium, 7,000 people, but Bapton is loved. 261 million people if you're in, in Indonesia and Bapton's are sport. Yeah, there's a huge crowd outside the stadium as well watching Seven, this six. match on big screens as well. So I'm sure there's an electrifying atmosphere outside as well. Because it's inside. I know you said, I've talked to Billie Jean King, and she said, I did an exhibition match here. And you saw when she played Martina, the two great tennis players, but they both said, you know what? It's a badminton country for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I actually saw that match many, many years ago. Legends in tennis. Here was really lucky there because I think her shot was actually going wide of that sideline. This shot here, that one there, I think was going out. Nine, six. It was a good description you said just earlier. Always seems like she's in good time. Oh, so quick. Beautiful shot. No way. That's good play. That's really, really covered well there by Zheng Siwei. But honestly, honestly, that's not an easy shot to play from Tonto no. It's so close. You don't want to go over the net. But until that shuttle hits the ground, it's still in play. And this is what we've seen so often on that forehand side of Tontori Ahmed, sliding all the way out the court. Oh, it's over, that's for sure. But this is typical Tontori Ahmed on that forehand side. Well, he also has Seven, two boys, ten. actually, one and three, and you'd be surprised, one of their names is Danish. The other one, Arsa, but he has two boys. <laughs> Maybe that's named after you, uh, Morton. 
No, I'm, I'm sure they're not. Good interception. Wong Yao Chung, that's what she's so aggressive at the net. Gets her racket on it. Eight. Ten. We go into the uh, mid-game interval here with a lead uh, to the two Indonesians, Tantowi Ahmed and Liliana Natsia, 11-8 in 10 minutes. against the uh, Chinese pair is obviously to take uh, Wang Yachong kind of out of the game, if you can say that. That's a very, very clever flick serve there. Ten, Played below, 1-1-5. One, one, the uh, service judge, Stefan Benet, <laughs> said nothing, so that serve must be legal. It was a quick one. And you see the Chinese combination so much forced back on court into their defensive situation. That's what we see here in this match. 12. Completely backing 10. off. Not too much and out the back. Service over. I think 11, it was a small revenge on that serve 12, by no, I was sick of the same thing. All right, if you did that, I'm going to do it back. Watch out for the flick. It was quite funny. Back in 2008, that was one of my favorite matches played here against Liliana Natsir and Vita Marissa. In the second round, I got called for a service fault, and everybody in the whole stadium booed me. But it was quite fun. It was 15 all. But uh, 11, 12. Just yep. to have this atmosphere, it's incredible. It is, it's for every badminton player around the world to experience. I always said, if you're not a badminton fan, come here and watch it, you're guaranteed to be one. That's well covered by Sensi Wei. Really well covered, but he managed to cover that one at uh, the front of the 12. court on the backhand side. Oh, And it's 12-0. The Indonesians are really, like you mentioned, putting them to the back. Every once in a while, I think they should put it to the net because now they're really backing off on their defense. Another one of the more weaker areas on Tontowi Ahmed is when he's attacked on his body. When it comes to these flat exchanges, it's coming into his body, that's where he makes mistakes. Oh, what a return of serve. So quick, he can't do anything with it, that's a perfect shot. Oh.
14, 13. Wong really playing aggressive at the net, gets her racket up, makes sure that one goes to the ground. Again, a very aggressive return of serve there by Chantori Ahmed. Last time he was from the, the left hand box, and this time he was from the right hand box. It's a tape. Liliana Nats, your the Olympic gold medalist, but we can't 15. forget Debbie. Santono, she's going to be retiring uh, at this, uh, this tournament as well, and she's been in the top ten in the mixed. Yeah, she's uh, she's actually a, um, a former All England champion with uh, Praveen Jordan. Oh. Debbie Sassanto and Praveen Jordan won uh, the All England, uh, I think, about three 16. years ago. It just so happened they're retiring at the same time, but very good friends with Nats here. They share the room together when they travel around the world. The heat is on. 17 14. 17. Taking 14. the last three points on Anatsia's serve here. is part of the tactics because uh, the Chinese pair 15. is really trying to exploit the fact that Nazi is not so quick on her legs anymore so they play a lot of block shots to her as soon as she's away from the net but Tantori Ahmed is covering that every single time it's good tactics by the Indonesians as well So they're really on the attack again. Oh, oh that's clever. Beautiful shot cross court. But you can see it's definitely part of the uh, tactical makeup here 18. from the two oh. Indonesian players. Tontori Ahmed is really trying to cover Liliana. for Liliana Natsia. Look at that moving in again. Well spotted by Sengsi Wei playing at cross court and suddenly it's 18 more.
What a hammer. Hip with a punch. Nineteen. Great right down the middle, but that's one of the hardest hits of the tournament. Landed in. What an opportunity it was from that seer first, and then later on, the fight until we open it. 20 game point. Game point. 18. For Feng Siwei and Huang Yachong, 20 game point 18, taking the last six points in a row here. Oh, what a return oh. by Shang Si Wei here. Same game, one by Shang Si Wei, Zhang Jiaqiao, 21. And China 19. takes this one second game. game. They got out of trouble. They were 14, 18 down. Managed to score six points in a row to 2018 before they winning 21 19. 21 minutes in that second game here we got the confirmation and we are treated to a third and final game very interesting to see whether this pair being so close have got that mental strength it takes to go out and fight the world champions in this third and final game. Seconds. Twenty seconds. Final game. Level. Play. So we're ready here for the third and final game. A level play. Huang Yachong to serve to Liliana Natsia. Somehow, One, I feel no. that the uh, Chinese combination, the defence is getting stronger, and Tom Tawi Ahmed cannot score in the same way as what he did in the first game. He's got to work harder. Commentators curse, bringing that one down straight away. One, oh. Great cut off. Service over. Two. Tries to get a buyer right one. there. Gets a racket on it. Good serve there by Sing Way. Three. One.
Service call. call. Whoa. Too high. Service over. That was lucky there for Ahmed and Nasir. Two. Because three. I felt again that Seng Siwei was on the run with that serve. He was serving really well. Five, three. So a little lead here, small one, two points. Five, three for Siwei and Ya Chong. Six, three. Goes out the side, a little impatient. Seven, Bring it in a little bit, making him for those mistakes right here. He wants it so bad, but he's making a few unforced errors. Thanks, you way, Huang Yachong. Getting more and Three. more solid, minute by minute. We manage to save the second game, being 18-14 down, and that has given them a lot of confidence. Oh, what a play. Set is over. Wang Ye Chung again, fantastic net shots. And then at the end, able to place it properly. She's really Nine. stepped up in this game as well. She Five. has, but it's actually not the winners here. I know she's playing beautifully here. But I think when Natsia was playing right. back at the net, she was all the way up there and making sure that she couldn't do it and then took the attack from there. And that was like four or five shots earlier than that. Ten, five. You see Tentori Ahmad, he's shaking his head because usually right. he gets those ones. He's there for him, he's just miss hitting. Uh, but you have to uh, respect that the pace that Seng Siwe is playing with as well. So the reply in the shots is coming very fast. Very, yeah, very fast and hard. Six, ten. And you just see him saying that to his partner there, too. Just keep that on. Six. 
seven, ten. Long on the back line. The last three points gone eight, the Indonesian way, eight, ten. ten. Having a mini comeback here. And that's long on the back line. Service oh, over. the service line. 11 8 interval. So Change ends. 11 8 for Seng Si Wei and Huang Ya Chong going into the mid game interval. Last time in this match, last time today, we are changing ends. Serve here, eleven eight. Yeah, that looks very, very short. That's much better lift. Good work there by Seng Si Wei from the back. <laughs> Serving so well, yeah. Wang Ya Chong. It's a fantastic rally, this one. Oh, terrific exchanges again. This fantastic mixed doubles. It simply doesn't get better than this. And we had 39 Nine. shots in this rally. 14. And it's the longest of the match. And there's some serious catching up to do for Ahmed and Natsir. What a smart flick that time. Huang was really committed on the rush. 10, 13. Critical points right now. Very critical. Good serve, but good return as well from Si Wei. 14, 10. Oh, that serve, it was tumbling when it came over. 15. A and he's one. a good server, Ten. he's a good server. But he, because he's got that flick as well. So you can't really move that early because you never know what's coming. It almost looks short. It almost, if you let it go, but it's so hard to. Serve is over. 11. 15.
safety break. It was on Jones' racket. Twelve. Fifteen. A fault was called. 13, 15. That is critical. Huang Yachong had to kill that one at the net. It's not easy. You can follow through, but you can't hit it on the other side, and that's what she was called for. Yeah. We, of course, cannot see it from this angle here, but if we get the other camera, we have a chance. So it's over. It's like playing baseball in Yankee Stadium or hockey in the old Montreal Forum here or soccer around the world to play badminton here in, in Jakarta. It's nothing like it. Sixteen, thirteen. Huang Yao Chong to serve. Sixteen, thirteen. Getting closer and closer to the end of this final game. Good serve again. Comes across the body, perfectly placed smash. 14, 16. Oh. That time she got the flick. Yeah, that was clever by Ya Chong that she was really waiting for that one. Just making sure she was not moving too fast on that low serve as she would have got caught once again. Seventeen, fourteen. Oh, so quick at the net. But that's definitely also one of the tactics. They know that Natsia would try 18, anything to gain the initiative 14. at the net. And Yachong is just so close to the top of the tape. And really that started with Jung's serve. How good of a serving, like you mentioned, in his service. That's going wide. A fantastic career 20, seems point, to be coming 14. to an end. Liliana Natsir, it doesn't look like she's going to win her last match. And the last match here in Astora Sinayan. But well, what a career she has had. Oh, incredible. Olympic champ, world champ, former number one, three time All England consecutively. Incredible. There's nobody like her. That's a beautiful shot. Is it coming too late, though? It's a tough battle uphill. 16 20, have to 16. save another four. 20. And Jung so good at returning of the serve. Okay. And here it comes. The stadium stands up, standing ovation. Absolutely standing ovation. For Liliana Natsir, but also, of course, for Tontoi Ahmed who still continues to play just with another partner, as far as I understand it. Well, what a fantastic match that makes doubles. Indonesia came out flying, but China really stepped up. They're the match best team right now, and uh, really won in style. 
Well, lots of souvenirs flying into the stadium. Well, the exchange of shirts and the respect that they all have for each other. Yes, uh, we are getting ready very shortly for the on-court interview. I'll be surprised if there's not an on-court interview with uh, the two Indonesians as well. You know, you never know. I think there might be. They're yeah. sticking around. Absolutely, that's what I thought as well. They had a big tribute to Natsia earlier, and that was tough before the match as well. Okay, so congratulations. You can be the OEN Mutant in the last. I guess we were wrong as uh, the last uh, game. So, so what do you feel? The, uh, you can against podium. our legend in Indonesia in a badminton in a mix, uh, mix uh, double. Well, he, uh, they say that they are so, so important to them in the, their last match. They so be uh, brilliant to can match with them. So perfect in their last match. So they just say thank you. Do you want to say anything? The last thing you want to say to Owe and Butet? Menurut pandangan dia, untuk pemain lawan Owi dan Butet memang tangguh ya, patut dia jungi jempol sampai bertahun-tahun sampai sekian. Uh, pastinya memberikan uh, self the best the, for the last juga makanya uh, pertandingan hari ini dia memberikan perawanan yang cukup sangat ketat sampai kita juga harus uh, sampai ke tiga babak seperti itu. Well they say in their, their last match this is the what they say to Owi and Butet they say the best of luck in the future and they hope you are have the good condition and new generation. Thank you. And here we have the, the match point. 2016 or 16-20 it was. They had to save another four points, but that was not possible. Seng Siwei Huang Yachong, the champions of Indonesia Masters. Great celebration here from the young man, 21 years of age. And here we got the confirmation. 21-19. In the first game for the two Indonesians, but then they lost 21 21-16. <laughs> 
So here we have all the players on the podium. The winners here, Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong of China, the world champions. Everyone in the stadium is just standing up. First, Chan Tawi Ahmed receiving his medal. And it was Liliana Natsir, Huang Yachong, and lastly, Sheng Siwei. I can also tell you that we will show some footage of uh, an emotional farewell from uh, Liliana Natsia that happened earlier today that will come also very shortly after this. Well, there's Danish up there with uh, Tuntori. There's another little son back home. Uh, yeah. But what a what a career Liliana yeah. Natsir has. Incredible. Olympic champ, world champ, won almost everything. Four times world champion, two different partners. An incredible racket and skills. But these two from China last year, incredible to you see improving, playing fast, hitting hard, and uh, they're going to have a great career as well. They are having a great career. <laughs> <laughs> 2018 was just an awesome year. As uh, earlier mentioned, they won nine tournaments last year, seven open events, and then they won the World Championship and the Asian Games on top of that. Doesn't get much better than that. That's for sure. They defended their title here in the Indonesian Masters with a success. They won it in 2018 and they won it here in 2019. Just exactly the same as Matsutomo and Takahashi from Japan in the women's doubles. She will retire after this match, after this tournament, and we cannot praise how good a career she has had. And what a way to close it all down here in Jakarta, playing in Istora Sinayan, getting to the final, getting so close to winning. They were 18 14 off in that second game after having won the first. It was so close. Yes, exactly. It was a battle just to make it to the finals, and they did. They put on a great show for all these spectators, and they're loved here. So we will have the results of this match coming up very shortly. It's coming in just a sec. And uh, it all started with the women's doubles. Uh, Matsutomo and Takahashi, the Olympic champions, they beat Kim and Kong 21-19, 21-15. That was followed by the men's singles. It was a big, big surprise. Anna Antonsen, the young and talented player from Denmark, winning 21-16. 14-21, 21-16 against the world number one and world champion Kento Momota of Japan. The third match on was an all Indonesian final in the men's doubles. The undisputed world number one, Gideon and Sukumoyo. They won 21-17, 21-11 against their compatriots from Indonesia, the two times world champions, Asan and Setiawan. That was followed by women's singles and sadly what a way to finish that women's singles Sina Naval, former world at number one won 
but on a D4 because Carolina Marin had to stop due to injury. The three times world champion and Olympic champion had to stop when she was 10-4 up in the first game. And last but not least, here we saw the mixed doubles. Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong of China, the world champions and Asian Games champions, they won 19-21, 21-19, 21-16 against the reigning Olympic champions, Tantowi Ahmed and Liliana Natsia of Indonesia. So we were, uh, look at the pictures here, Liliana Natsia just completely surrounded by photographers saying goodbye to the crowd, getting selfies. This is uh, an amazing sight. See the crowd just want to shake hands. She's so great to the crowd too. She's always, even before the match, she's given high fives. So I do hope that you have enjoyed uh, this afternoon with us. Uh, please join us again in February when we go live from Europe at the Barcelona Spain Masters and uh, the German Open. Until then, from Charmaine Reed and myself, Morton Frost, and the rest of the crew, bye for now.